Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So in the previous videos, we discussed the concept of time shifting in both continuous and time domain, continuous time domain and discrete time domain. So in this video, we are going to discuss about another uh, operation, basic operation in signals, which is the time reversal okay the time reversal operation so if we have a signal so first let us discuss it in continuous time domain and then we'll discuss in the discrete time domain so if we have a continuous time domain signal let's say xt the time reversed version is represented as x minus t okay so this is the operation of time reversal so here we have this signal okay xt this way with uh, x 0 as 0 x 1 as 1 x 2 as 1 x3 as 1 and x4 as 0 okay so these are the values of the signal at distinct equidistant points it will be helpful while doing the whole time reversing this whole operation so if we want to reverse it we'll first have to create a signal and equate it with the x minus t okay so let us create a signal yt equal to x minus t okay and let us find the values of yt at different values of t so let us start with 0 first y at t equals to 0 equal to x minus 0 is same as x0 which is equal to 0. For t equals to 0, the value of y is 0. That is, x minus t is equal to 0. Now, at y equals to 1, it is equal to x minus 1, which is equal to here, in the negative direction, there is no signal. So, it is 0 in the negative axis. It is 0. So, it is 0. Similarly, if we go in the positive direction, it will all be 0. x minus 2 will be 0. Similarly, y3 will be x minus 3, that will also be 0. So, no need to go. Now, let us go in the negative direction. y minus 1 is x minus of minus 1 okay understand here t is equal to minus 1 so minus of minus 1 is plus 1 so it will be x 1 which is equal to 1 similarly y minus 2 is equal to x of minus of minus 2 which is equal to x 2 which is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 similarly y of minus 3 will be x3 equals to 1 y4 y minus 4 will be x of 4 which is equal to 0 then y minus 5 will be x5 will be 0 because beyond that in the positive direction beyond 3 it is all 0 beyond 4 it is all 0 okay so no need to go further so the important points for us are these y minus 1 y minus 2 and y minus 3 okay so and this 
as a reference point y0 and y minus 4 also because they indicate the starting and the ending point so let us take these points and draw the time reverse signal okay so here we got the following values of y at points 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 so let us draw the time reverse signal so here we have drawn the axis the time axis and this is the amplitude axis which is yt is equal to x minus t the time reverse signal so at y at t equals to 0 is 0 at t equals to minus 1 it is 1 at t equals to minus 2 this is also equal to 1 t equals to minus 3 equals to 1 and minus 4 it is again 0 so the time reverse signal it will look something like this okay this so if you compare this signal x minus t with xt it is simply the mirror image of xt x minus t is the mirror image of xt so you can it is the folded version of the original or the reference signal okay so time reversal is the folded version the time reverse signal is the folded version of the original or the reference signal so this is the mirror image of the original or reference signal the time reversed so any signal that you take if you want to get the time reversed version of it you just fold it along the negative axis okay so this is the time reversal operation in the continuous time domain now let us do it in the discrete time domain 